Piano Stage Moves by the Numbers. Number one, making an introduction. Hello, everybody. My name is Connor Rowan, and my piano teacher's name is Mr. Jordan, and we're going to play Florbanad and the New World Symphony Number no. 9. It's important for the performer to introduce themselves before they play. Hello, my name is Nathaniel. I'll be playing Paper Airplane. Hi, I'm Zoe Falk, and today I'll be playing Showboat. Hi, my name is Morgan, and I'm going to be playing Whirling Leaves. Hi, my name is Annabelle, and I will be playing Down by the Bay. This move lets the audience know who they're going to be watching on stage. I'm Jeremy, and I'll be playing Snake Charmer. Hi, my name is Evan Tinkoff, and today I will be playing Ode to Joy. Number two, bowing before performance. After the performer introduces themselves, it's customary for them to bow before they play. This move shows respect to your audience and gives the performer the focus of attention. Bowing before you play usually takes place for formal performances like our achievement graduation, so it's not necessary during informal performances like coffeehouse recitals. Number three, seat position. First, we have the seat position. The seat position will allow you to have the correct body and arm position. So a little bit of time making sure that your seat is correct will be very beneficial in your playing. The seat should not be too close to the piano. If it's too close, your arms will be scrunched up making it difficult to perform. The seat should not be too far away either, as for one, you may not be able to reach the keys, but also it may cause your body to hunch over which can affect your playing. We want the seat position to be just right, so there's a comfortable distance between you and the piano. Number four, body posture. One important factor in achieving perfect piano posture is the body position which really explains the type of body posture you should have when playing the piano. You should have a straight back and always try and sit towards the front edge of the piano bench. Your knees should be slightly under the piano and your feet flat on the ground, near or on the pedals of the piano. With young piano learners, your feet may dangle while sitting at the piano bench. If this is happening, you can use a stack of books for at-home practice to place under your piano seat or a stepping stool for stage performances to make sure you have a comfortable playing position. Number five, arm position. The height of the piano bench directly affects the angle of your arm. We want our arms to be horizontal or parallel with the piano or angled slightly downward. We never want our arms to be angled up. Arm position directly affects the quality of your stage performance and piano bench height determines your arm position. So let's take some time to talk about the height of your piano bench. When performing on stage, make sure the seat is not too high or too low in order to achieve the correct height. Make sure your arms are at the same height as the piano keys. You can see here how the arm position is perfectly in line with the piano. We don't want the elbow too high or too far below the piano and have a nice relaxed arm position. Let's review. First is the seat position. Try and sit at the front of the piano bench. Next is the body position. Keep a straight back and remain relaxed during your performance. And last is arm position. Keep your arms parallel with the keyboard and remember to use these moves on stage. Number six, preparing to play. The performer should give themselves a moment to gather their thoughts before they start playing on stage.
This always makes for a better performance as you become more focused on the task at hand. Number seven, move with the music. One thing a piano performer can always do to liven up a performance on stage is to move with the music. One major goal as a performer is to connect with our audience. And moving your body with the motion of the music is a great way to reach that goal. Oh. Moving your body with the music adds some visual flair to your performance. Practice with your teacher and use this move the next time you're on stage. Suppose you never ever call. Number eight, facial expressions, playing with emotion. It's our job as performers to bring out the emotion of the audience. And one simple way to do just that is to show the emotion on our face as we perform. A piano performer should give the audience something to look at while they're playing, and facial expressions help the audience to know how they're supposed to feel. Number 9. Float Arms Off It's customary for the piano performer to float their arms off the keyboard when they finish playing their piece. This move further adds to the visuals that are created by your performance. It's yet another way to connect your body to the emotion of the music. Number 10, Deep Stage Bow. After finishing your performance, walk to the middle of the stage and take a deep stage bow. <laughs> Bowing after your performance is a polite way to thank your audience for listening to you play. You can use the moves learned in this video in your own performances. And remember, you can play the piano all day long, but selling the feeling of the song is what the audience will remember. <laughs> 